Space Marine Squad Unit Types. Let's start this series, or one full video, I don't know, with Reavers, Vanguard Reavers. They fill a combination of stealth and shock trooper roles. Not shock is in the classic military definition of tip of the spear soldiers, but scare your pants off soldiers, scare the enemy troops, terror troopers. They travel in squads of five to 10, and wear a modified version of the Mark 10 Phobos armor that's lighter and completely silent for covert ops. Their primary weapon is the Bolt Carbine that is easy to maneuver, but doesn't lose out on firepower. Then a heavy Bolt Pistol for close encounters, knives, and grenades, including shock grenades. Shock grenades for the shock troops to cause shock in the enemy. Their squad size allows them to operate independently, and their main mission is to infiltrate an enemy location, and then just pop up when they're least expecting it, sowing as much terror as possible. And those skull masks that they have? They're voice amplifiers. They scream at the enemy too, and, and it works. These tactics can shatter the morale of entire armies, but since they're space marines, they can still handle more disciplined enemies by just outright slaughtering them. Next up on space marine unit types, the Incursor. This Primaris Marine seems really basic, just a bolter, regular Space Marine weapons, but their technology is what they bring to the party, which is a weird thing to say about something from the Imperium of Man in 40k. But thanks to their Divinator class aspects and Oculus scopes, they get a ton of battlefield data, which is then fed to a totally not heretical AI machine spirit that gives them a very nice heads up display that can let them see the enemies in darkness through walls and enemies about to teleport in. And this, again, totally not an AI, can read enemy fighting patterns to predict their moves, letting the incursor shoot or stab where the enemy is going to be. Really cool, but really rare given that they have this advanced technology. Another Space Marine unit type, the Intercessor. Just like the incursor, this one seems really basic, but in this case, that's because it is. The Intercessor is the core Space Marine unit for Primaris chapters. Between mono-edged combat knives, grenades, and a basic bolt rifle, these troops can fill most short to long range fire support roles. For more flexibility, each squad of 10 soldiers in a squad can swap out that basic bolter for either an auto bolter, providing higher capacity and higher rates of fire at the expense of range, or a stalker bolt rifle, increasing accuracy and range, acting more like a designated marksman bolter. Two battle brothers in a squad of 10 can have Astartes grenade launchers, giving them more long-range destructive firepower. While not specialized, this equipment allows the intercessor to fill a number of defensive and offensive roles, while filling any battlefield need thanks to balanced lethality and flexibility. Hellblaster Space Marine Squads. They seem really boring compared to other squads, just basic Primaris, except they have plasma incinerators instead of bolters. But every member of the 10 Battle Brothers squad has one of these anti-tank heavy weapons. Some even have heavier or faster firing versions. With the same range as regular bolters, these plasma incinerators are capable of providing heavy fire support at long range. They can do what snipers do without subtlety and turn key high value targets into glass. They can focus fire on the strongest and heaviest armor, and then, again, there are 10 of them. So just imagine how devastating it would be if they focused fire. Unfortunately, these guns are really rare, making these squads rare with only the best veteran marksmen getting a chance to even hold the powerful plasma incinerators. Like most plasma weapons, the ones Hellblasters use can be overcharged for more damage, but at the risk of blowing the user up. Marines only use this feature when things look really bleak. Vanguard Infiltrator Space Marines are another Primaris Squad unit type that you could easily call basic. While they have even fewer weapon options than the bread and butter Intercessor Marines, they often fill two roles, scrambling enemy communications with their fancy Omni Scrambler and providing medical support. 
While their Helix Adepts aren't as well trained as dedicated Apothecaries, they're able to get Marines back into fighting form after some injuries. They are also able to collect the gene seed producing progenoid glands from fallen battle brothers, what, you know, this guy in Pariah Nexus was trying to do. Despite the covert sounding infiltrator unit name, they aren't really used in that fashion beyond carrying smoke grenades and scopes that can see through that smoke. Next up on Space Marine squad type and unit types, the Eliminator. These battle brothers travel in small fire teams of 3 to 5 and wear stripped down Mark 10 Phobos armor that enables higher degrees of stealth. They carry bolt sniper rifles with advanced optics that can pick up thermal scan behind enemy buildings several meters of material, and they also make the most of variant bolter ammunition. Hyperfrag rounds air burst and are used to take out entire artillery or communications crews, and executioner rounds are guided, able to seek targets behind cover. They're used as silent assassins, anti-material specialists, or simply to cover other assaulting units or as an anti-counterattack force. They're equipped with camouflage cloaks for, I think, obvious reasons, and bolt pistols for close quarters. The highest ranking Eliminator can carry a suppressed bolt carbine for better close-up fighting and less precise but higher volume of fire at range. One member of the Eliminator squad can carry a LAS Fusil in place of their sniper rifle, a heavy anti-personnel energy weapon that can melt through armor and hit harder than those specialized bolter rounds, but without the fancy abilities of those specialized bolter rounds. The Vanguard Suppressor is a unique Space Marine unit type specializing in rapid response and suppression of enemy heavy units using super powerful magnetic accelerator rifles and jump packs. The three marine squads quickly get into great position with those jump packs, find enemy heavies, and keep them occupied until space marine anti-armor units can show up. Their railguns fire thin, foot-long rods filled with explosives rapidly out of that magnetic accelerator rifle, and their armor is specifically designed to be lightweight for maneuverability, but able to handle that recoil. These guns are only good against up to light vehicles, so they don't take out the tanks or heavies themselves, usually unless they can hit a weak point like on the top. Giving them jump packs is pretty smart, and they can also liquefy infantry, but that's usually a waste of their awesome potential. Next Space Marine Squad unit type, the Aggressor. They are, in many ways, the angry tip of the spear shock troopers in the classical sense. Utilizing heavy Mark 10 Gravis pattern armor to get in close to enemy units, and either gauntlet-mounted flamers or bolters to just put out a massive spread of wrath. While they're usually used to take enemy formations, they can be used to assassinate targets by just walking up to them in their heavy armor, tanking enemy fire, and shooting the high value target in the face. Augmenting their gauntlet mounted flamethrowers or bolters, they are often equipped with shoulder mounted grenade launchers. If anything can get through all of that wrath into close quarters, their massive reinforced fists are strong enough to punch the treads off of a tank. The Salamander chapter of Space Marines, Liking Fire, makes heavy and brutally efficient use of these. Another Space Marine unit type is the Inceptor, not to be confused with the Incursor, Interceptor, or Infiltrator. These fill a Strike Force, Beachhead Breaking, Halo Orbital Drop Shock Trooper role, wearing heat-resistant Mark 10 Gravis heavy armor, but they have powerful jump packs, so are incredibly maneuverable. They land somewhere, let loose with their dual assault bolters, which are heavy bolters turned into pistols, they dual wield heavy bolters, and then wreck everything there, and then just bounce to another location to do it all again. They're great for diversions, for cutting off enemy command, but their main role is to crack into an enemy line, providing an opening for all the other types of space marines to exploit. They travel in concentrated fire teams of 3 to 6, and one fun note is that if enemies detect them on radar, they often mistake them for missiles. 
Finally, the last Space Marine unit type, the Eradicator, at least until I get into Blade Guards and Terminators and stuff. Anyway, the Eradicator is the heavy Astartes unit. Hellblasters used plasma weapons to bring down armor, Eradicators use Meltas. And they have the heavy Mark X Gravis armor, so they are regularly able to close in with the enemy to put these anti-tank weapons to maximum effect. They take down enemy infantry like throwing a wax candle into the sun, and enemy armor and tanks? Easy. Enemy fortifications? They create doors and bunkers. And if you thought six Meltas was enough, sometimes they use double-barreled melta Meltas, multi-Meltas, for more close destruction, or sometimes heavy Melta rifles to increase max range. They can each focus on their own field of fire, or concentrate the might of an entire squad to erase something from the space-time continuum. And that's most infantry squads of basic space marines for you.